Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl, Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Virgo. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, divine spirit, holy spirit. What's going on with Virgos? Okay, king of wands coming out. Five of pentacles. Let's get one more for Virgos. Someone's eager to talk, okay. Mm, Virgo, what's going on with Virgos? Okay, the star, Aquarius energy is here. Always keep an open mind as the cards come out. It could be you or your person that I'm picking up on. Uh, so the stories could be flipped or reversed. So put the characters where they go. Okay, honey. Okay. Ooh. Mm. King of Wands. <laughs> The Five of Pentacles and the Star card. So yeah, <clears throat> someone's missing someone. Someone is wanting to give you a lot of attention. This could be you as well. Someone's wanting to give someone a lot of attention, feeling very attracted, very passionate about someone. Okay. Someone could be working on their money, working on their finances. This is someone wanting to come in. Okay. Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. What else will we have? Okay. The Sun card. Leo's energy is here. Someone is like excited. They're happy. <laughs> oh. Mm. They could be holding back, spying. Someone is spying on you. <laughs> Watching you. Oh. Now, Virgos, the... We are in Mercury retrograde, okay, from May 10th through June 2nd. So you could have a uh, resurgence of exes coming back from the past, people thinking of you, longing, you know, we have that going on right now, okay? With the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords, someone remembering you, mm-hmm, <laughs> someone thinking about the past, someone uh, could have possibly hurt you or there was pain in the past with someone, yeah, death with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there could have been a possible ending or betrayal or something of that nature. Page of Cups, someone is sorry for how they uh, treated you or how something ended. Yeah, trying to strategically come in and say this to you, wanting to find the right words to say. They feel a bit nervous about communicating this that they see themselves with you. The justice with the two of cups. Wow. Yeah, they they see this with you. You are their person. Mm. Wanting to make things right. Wanting to tell you that they see eye to eye with you. Soulmate energy coming through. Okay. Let's get into the spread here. Okay, what's going on with this king of wands? This king of wands. Tell me about it. Divine spirit, holy spirit. What's this king of wands energy for Virgo? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone who could have gotten a lot of attention. Been, someone could have been a player. Like, honestly, someone sexy. Okay, maybe they were moving things really fast at one point. Maybe there was a lot of passion, a lot of sex going on. And now someone is like, okay, let me slow down. Let me be serious. I need to get serious about Virgo. Okay. Knight of Cups is back out. <laughs> yes, could be an age gap for some of you. Doesn't have to be. But someone is like, uh, they could be wanting to step into the energy of the King of Wands. Yes, it's my sexy king, but it's also my king that takes initiative, that makes the first move. So if someone is like, you know, I'm taking my time, but I have a lot of love that I want to offer. Virgo, Nine of Pentacles, because I'm so attracted. <laughs> Woo! I'm attracted to Virgo. Mm-hmm. Yes, now we've been getting a lot of proposal energy on these readings today. So somebody may be trying to pop the question. Okay, somebody trying to pop the question. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm trying to tell you without telling you. Go with it, go with it. Okay. What's this five of pentacles here? Yeah, they miss you. Three of cups, five of pentacles with the three of cups. Wanting to date you, wanting to have better times with you, wanting to go out with you, okay? Kind of, you know, romance you. Someone is wanting to bring this back together, okay? What is this Five of Pentacles? 
Five of Wands, the number five could be very significant. This person could be going through a lot of changes. You could be going through a lot of changes right now uh, in your life. Someone is afraid of competition as well. Yeah. The World card. Yeah, wanting to start a new cycle with you. Someone could be watching you online. Someone could be all of it. See, if you post something on Instagram or, you know, Facebook, wherever you post something, somebody is watching, <laughs> watching other people watch you. So it's like they, this person could literally like be going through your comments, trying to see <laughs> who commented on your post and like who's checking you out. Oh, okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. What is this star card? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is this star card? Yeah, the chariot. Cancerian energy is here with Aquarius, as I mentioned before. They want to move this forward. They're hoping that this can move forward with you. Whoa, what was this? Yes, 10 of pentacles with the king of cups and the six of swords. Yeah, they have long term on their mind. Okay, with the ten of pentacles, king of cups, wanting to express emotion. They may be very shy with their emotions, a little bit hesitant. Uh, that's why they're approach approaching <laughs> with caution, is what I want to say. With the six of swords coming out over there, <clears throat> there's a lot of movement. So someone may want to move closer to you or be with you, um, may want to travel with you go on vacation with you. Like someone could offer like a getaway, like, hey, let's go get away somewhere. You know, let's spend some time together. The two of you could be planning like a summer trip. Uh, someone likes hiking or the outdoors. Eight of Cups is here. I don't know why I'm getting that right now with the Eight of Cups, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> someone likes to hike or someone likes to spend time in the woods, nature. Um, or maybe that's what you two need to do. Like go off and be by yourselves in nature, okay? Something uh, with a creek or a lake or a pond, you know, going to a, the lake for as the summer months come in, going to the lake is what I'm getting. Very specific. Wow. Okay. Yeah, someone likes a boat. <laughs> someone could want to go boating or I don't know. The two of you. Oh my goodness. What Y'all have a very active life or this person is very active or they want to be very active with you. You could want the same thing as well. This could be your energy that I'm picking up on. Someone likes to go like kayaking or <laughs> there's something here. There's something here with a boat or something. Y'all, are you going to rent a yacht? Somebody going to get on a yacht. Okay. Okay. Oh, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. For some of you, that death card wanted to pop out just now. Transformation happening. What is that death card? Why did it pop out, spirit? What is that death card? Okay. Something else flew out. Ooh. Ace of Wands, big dick energy. Yeah. Somebody wants to transform this. If this was an ending, someone wants to passionately start a new beginning with you. Um, I'm also feeling that someone has transformed and they're ready. They're actually ready to start something with you and want to make love and want a relationship. Four of Wands, moving in together, building a family together, wanting something stable with you. Yep, it's there. Yeah, how is Virgo feeling? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. How is Virgo feeling? How does Virgo feel in this connection? Okay. Ooh, the Empress. Oh, okay. Excuse me. How's Virgo feeling? <laughs> How is Virgo feeling in this connection? Okay. Okay. What do we have? Some flipped over. Okay. Tower Scorpio energy is here. Oh, oh my gosh. Queen of Wands. This person. <clears throat> okay. All these cards want to fall out. We, we're not going to take those. <clears throat> this is how you're feeling. Empress Tower Queen of Wands. This person turns you on baby okay explosive sex so you not only love this person okay some of you that pregnancy energy is still here i'm just mentioning that okay with the empress she's a mom she's a wife a queen she is the queen of the queens okay <clears throat> could be um male energy as well but someone is in their empress energy here you <laughs> And Virgo, I feel like this person turns you on so much. 
And you know what I'm feeling? If, if you're very professional, like some of you, I'm getting this energy. Some of you are very professional, right? And you may be in a suit or something, or, you know, you have to wear a uniform to work or something like that. And then when you think of this person, you start feeling nasty. You, some of you start feeling real freaky when you think about this person. You may, have, you may have to excuse yourself and go into the company bathroom. <laughs> you may just have to sneak into the bathroom and handle some things if you know what I'm talking about, okay? Some of you... Stop, y'all nasty. Okay, y'all are nasty. Don't. Now, I will say... <laughs> I will say this, getting serious, because uh, you know I'm silly, you guys, if you watch my channel. I love to laugh, but on a more serious note, the two of you uh, could have had something very solid together. This is how you're feeling. And then this person pissed you off. Because <laughs> this could represent the Queen of Wands and King of Wands could also represent anger, okay? So this person knows that you don't play games. I don't know if you cuss them out. I don't know if you punch them. There was something, okay. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what you said to this person, but you said something for some of you. Take it as it resonates. You said something to this person. I think that came out in your last reading. Like, yeah, you put your foot down. You said something to set this person straight. And so I'm still getting that energy here. Now, for others of you, I'm going back to that sexual energy because I feel it. You make this person's dick hard, okay? And they get your kitty jumping. They make your kitty want to dance around and do flips, okay? And that's just what it is. That's what I feel, okay? <laughs> that's just... Oh, okay. King and Queen of Wands. It's a lot of sexual attraction here. Whoa, whoa. What well, shout out? The moon. Ooh, lots of things are hidden under the surface. Lots of deep emotion. Okay. okay, okay. Someone is wanting to come out of hermit mode. Ooh, dealing with a fellow Virgo with the hermit. Virgo's energy is here, okay? Cancer's energy is here as well. Some of you dealing with the Cancer or Virgo. Hermit in reverse, meaning I want to come out of hiding all of this passion and secrecy, okay? Some of you, this could be an affair. I do feel that energy coming through. You know, no judgment here, but I just, I do feel that energy coming through where uh, the two of you uh, connect passionately um, because you're not satisfied in your respective relationships. Okay. Yeah. What do we have? Look at that. The nine of swords with the devil energy. Yeah. Some of you, if this is an affair, if this is an affair, if I said that correctly, this, uh, has been going on for a while, possibly nine months for some of you, nine weeks, okay? For some of you, um, if it's not an affair that's happening and the two of you are just connecting passionately and things are going well between the two of you, you're all the two uh, that each other can think about. That's what I want to say. Both of you are obsessing over this connection. Both of you think about each other constantly. That's what I feel. Ooh, lots of heat, lots of passion. Aries had the same energy. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. You may want to watch the Aries reading. Okay. Yeah. How does this person feel about Virgo? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay. What do we have? Page of Cups. Yeah. They want to talk because you make them happy. Look, baby. <laughs> You make this person sing. You make them do flips. Like, <laughs> I feel a, a cartwheel coming on. I, I just feel like this person gets all bubbly with you. Yeah, when they talk to you, this person, it's like the energy of they try to hide their smile, but they can't stop smiling. It's like, who got you smiling like that? Like, this person... They feel so much love when you talk to them. And it could just be a little text message and they're like waiting by their phone. And I feel like they're afraid to show you that though. They're afraid. <laughs> they're afraid to show you like that they're all giddy about you and two of swords. Yeah. I don't want Virgo to see this. You see the blindfold, the 
well, those are actually wings, but <laughs> on, in the traditional deck, um, it's blindfold, a blindfold over the two of swords eyes. And it's like, they don't want you to see something. <laughs> Look, yes, that they feel like you're a soulmate. They see eye to eye with you. And it's like, does Virgo feel the same way? Ooh, like they feel shy. They feel very shy about their emotions for you. But they, it's like, I can't help but to fall in love with you. I respect you. I'm not only super passionate about you, but I have like a lot of respect for your hustle. Like, cause Virgos grind, you know, y'all work really hard and y'all are very dedicated and loyal to what y'all do. And I feel like this person respects your hustle. I just feel that energy. They respect you. What's the potential outcome? Oh, okay. For this week, Knight of Swords. Okay. You may feel like, yeah, things are on fire. Things are moving fast with the Knight of Swords. Communication could be coming in. Lots of messages. Seven of Swords. Okay. <laughs> potential outcome for this week. Oh, y'all. Ten of Cups. Someone is planning. You may not know that this person is planning to, y'all, okay. I don't want to ruin it, but somebody's like planning a wedding. They're being strategic. Who are you dealing with? <laughs> What's this person? They're trying to surprise you, but it's hard to surprise you because you always find stuff out. You know, you're that type of person. You find stuff out because Virgos are very observant as well. So you may feel like this person like acts sneaky but it's a good sneaky. It's not the sneaky that you think because it's leading to the Ten of Cups this week. This person has this on their mind and they may try to like trip you up. I, I don't know why I'm getting this, but they may trip you up by being like, oh, yeah, ugh, I can't stand marriage. And, uh, and all the while they're like on the side, like talking to a wedding planner. <laughs> so, like marriage no I would never marry and then they're like secretly like planning and getting flowers and stuff <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting for some of you um for some of you I got the taste of something sweet so you could be I don't know why I'm tasting something sweet so you literally could be eating something sweet while you're watching this video um, I don't know or maybe some of you just put on like lip balm or something chapstick I'm tasting something sweet. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they like the, the sweet taste of your mouth. Oh, okay. Let's come to this deck. Insight for Virgos and this person. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with this connection? Hand of cards. Someone is going to take a chance with you. They're taking a chance. It's a risk for them. They're being very strategic. They're not showing their hands. Okay. Okay butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase i'm telling you this person is planning you you may not know well you you may know now because of this reading but i'm saying this person is trying hard not to show you their plans okay the phoenix rekindle transformation renew i told you someone is going through some type of transformation here with that uh death card scorpio's energy with the ace of wands transforming something they're transforming themselves taking action learning how to take initiative okay not allowing you to do everything not allowing you to make all the decisions someone is trying to put action behind their words they're wanting to put effort in you think i'm lying look what's at the bottom of the deck look okay okay virgo stop stop okay advice or <laughs> okay community wants to come out the two of you could have a lot of family around you you could have a big family this person could or you're very close with your family for some of you take it as it resonates um this could be a like i feel like if the two of you are together uh you will be well known in the community or in your neighborhood where you live the community could be a social media family very public relationship. Judication just fell out. Some of you could be uh, going to the courthouse to get married. This could be like, let's just go and stand before a judge. You know, let's just, let's just make this happen for some of you. 
Okay, someone is giving you a gift. Planning something. That's what I'm feeling. Planning, planning, planning. Some of you could be in court. Um, also, with adjudication, someone could be going through a divorce or breaking up with another person uh, for the two of you to be together. Remember, I did mention affair, okay, for a small few of you. Someone could be moving. And then one more. Look, change. <laughs> yeah, someone could be moving. There's a big change. I mentioned that already. Remember, I said this person is going through a lot of changes and so are you. There's a lot of changes happening. Transformation, okay? Someone could be dealing with imprisonment or someone uh, getting released from prison, okay? Or someone coming out of being imprisoned in their mind. That's the change that's happening. Someone learning how to love. It's like you're teaching this person how to love you, yeah, without knowing it. You like you may not realize that you're showing this person how to be open to love and how to express themselves more. But you may be having conversations with this person like it's okay if you get emotional. It's okay if you you know, you say I love you first. That doesn't make you weak. You know, you could be really teaching this person some some amazing things. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Take these messages as they resonate. Could be your energy as well. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Overworked, underpaid, stressed out. Okay. I, I did say there's a lot of changes happening. Someone could be going through a job change or wanting to uh, change their career. Feeling like they, they don't get enough at their job. Okay. What else? You broke my heart. This could be you saying this. Okay. Or someone is having to break someone's heart in order for this connection to come together. This person could be acknowledging that in the past, they could have broken your heart if they were a player, that King of Wands that came out first. And now they want to transform that. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Anything else? Don't run away. Stay close. Yeah. I feel like such a sweet energy with this card. Like this person is really afraid to lose you. Okay. And that's why they're afraid to open up because it's like, if I open up, am I going to lose Virgo? I don't want to lose Virgo. It's going to be so painful if I lose them. It's going to break my heart. One more. Let's travel the world together. I want to share every experience with you. Yeah. I feel like they want to possess you. Like they, <laughs> they want to claim you. Like they want you to be theirs. And they want to take you around the world. You could feel this way as well. That's why I said, didn't I say that, you guys, that somebody is going on a trip? I said that. <laughs> it's the energy of somebody going on a trip. The love you give to me is something I've never experienced before. Yeah. This person could possibly have never fallen in love before. And... You know, this is the first time that this person is really feeling all of these emotions. And that's why they could be a bit shy about it. But I'm telling you, get ready. That may be a gift that's coming in. That gift card, not gift card, but you know, they could give you a gift card. But uh, <laughs> the gift that's coming in could be, you know, let's go on a trip. Like, let's travel together. Like, and you may be like, what? Like, oh my God. Like, yeah, they took care of everything. They arranged everything. I didn't even, all I had to do was pack my bags, child. Okay, advice and then we'll wrap it up. Advice for Virgos and this person, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Advice for Virgos and this person. Advice, please, for Virgos. Not the right time. Yeah, something was off with the timing. And I feel like this person, especially if there was a financial issue, this person has been planning for the right timing. Something has been off with the timing and this person needing to heal, needing to divorce for some of you who was going through an, an affair or facing an affair with this person, something that this person is going through or dealing with, it could be you as well where you felt like in the past, the timing was not right, okay? It wasn't the right timing before. 
Get more information. Yeah. Get more information because I feel like this person is planning something. <laughs> I feel like there's more information that they have to tell you. Anything else? Any other advice for Virgo? It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's up to you. Because I feel like this person, they're coming in. They're serious. They have all of this love for you. See, you're ready now. And I feel like <clears throat> this is for the Virgo cross watcher as well. If you're interested in a Virgo, dating a Virgo, you're ready now. Something, I'm telling you, you guys, something was just not the right time. This person had to get more information, had to deal with things, work on themselves. And maybe they'll come and tell you that as well. Like, look, this is what was happening. This is what was going on. And this is the information that you need to make a decision, you guys, then it'll be up to you. But somebody is now ready. They're ready now uh, for this connection to go to the next level, okay? The timing is right now. It wasn't in the past. And someone has transformed themselves in order to bring this back together. Alrighty, Virgos, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I always have fun in your readings, I, I swear. I have Venus in Virgo, so yeah. <laughs> a lot of Venus, uh, Venus, a lot of Virgo readings resonate for my Venus. So you guys, it's always a pleasure reading for you. I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Bye.